Okay, as in for the column, uh, we can go to level two, structural plan, and we see the column there. Let's go TL as in thin line. Uh, we first need to cut the column, so it has to be level one. Uh, if you go to the and thin line, if you go to the elevation, uh, you will understand why. So you have to go to a level that you're actually cutting um, the element. Uh, I'm going to go to um, B range and just check this number one feet. We need pretty much to place it there a reference plane so we can say place a rebar at that reference plane here's the thing about columns if I select the column and say rebars and I do the same process I try to place these ones it gives me the no way private uh, do not pass kind of a symbol it's not gonna happen today so it just won't work so I'm gonna skip that one and place that reference plane I'm gonna go to an elevation I'm going to place a reference plane. Now, reference planes, it's exactly the same as as we work with the families in previous weeks. So you can place a reference plane, and when when you want to work, you can say, "Hey, work on this reference plane." So you first create. If you go to, uh, you can do, go to architecture or structure. Doesn't really matter, and you can set a reference plane or meaning create a reference plane. I'm going to do it again blindly and I'm going to select it and make this number one feet and I'm going to select it and change the name it's like a ref uh, rebar plane you know? okay the name will appear there at the end and now I can go perfectly with to the same view that cuts the element and first before saying rebar you can set the working plane to be under a name reference plane or rebar plane there you say okay and now it should work hopefully there you go so you can start placing um, the rebars that you need I'm gonna place these ones too and again you can change the placement options there's a little bit of snapping and the good thing is that it snaps to the exterior of the of the rebar so you it's actually quite good in terms of respecting how the rebars are located in relationship. Uh, you could also again just delete one and go to rebar back and say placement perpendicular but set the number to be fixed number and three for example and you can start placing three like at different points you can place three also horizontally uh, you can, you know, fix number, let's say, eight. Et cetera, et cetera, okay. Uh, you can also change the placement location. Start locating horizontal. Uh, obviously the rebars have their own is their own family so you can change the the number that with regards to the diameter of the rebars so you ha you can change the rebar diameter and you can also edit the type of it and duplicate and create your own set of rules for what rebars you need I would recommend for now that you probably locate uh, default settings for the rebars no You can move them also by selecting them and move them. And then you go to the 3D and you start seeing all those uh, rebars, which by the way, you can select and, and change their, their location if you need them, extend them, etc., etc. You can at the same time select stiffness and say like a uh, fixed number of or number space in every, every uh, one foot, for example. And there you have it okay so I think that covers that kind of like an intro idea of how we place rebars both in columns and in beams uh, in beams is simpler we just need to create a section uh, and 
you know, articulate the rebars in relation to the section, but in the column we need to create a reference plane and set those rebars in relation to that reference plane, okay? Good.